back to day four of the 12 days of Soapmas. <laughs> making iced tea with lemon soap. You're probably noticing that a lot of the soaps that we're creating for the January release are throwbacks. That's because I took a poll in I think October of your favorite creations that I made this year and I told y'all I'm gonna be making those in December. So this is sort of our like best of 2018 release. Ice Tea with Lemon had a lot of votes. I don't know if it was the smell or if it was the ice cubes on top. It's a really fun soap to make. If you're a new beginner soap maker, this is actually something that you can do. It's relatively easy, but the payoff in the way it looks, stunning. So without further ado, let's make some soap. So one of the things I noted the first time that I made this was that the iced tea fragrance oil really made this soap kind of sticky. So we need to harden it up. You can do this a couple of ways. You can lower your super fat. Mine is at 5% right now. I might would even take it as low as two. But what I'm choosing to do and what I think a lot of soap makers prefer to do is either add sodium lactate or salt. Salt is a lot cheaper. You dissolve it directly into your lye water solution when it's nice and hot. Unfortunately, when I dissolved it, mine was not nice and hot, so it's not completely dissolved in there. The general consensus when doing this is that you need to add in one teaspoon per pound of oils. That's what people do with sodium lactate. I don't use sodium lactate because it's expensive and using regular old table salt does exactly the same thing. So let's blend this up with our immersion blender until just past the emulsion. Okay, our soap batter is at a very, very, very thin trace. So we're gonna pour off our accent color. Our accent color is yellow because lemon. By the way, I apologize for the sound of the uh, running dishwasher in the background. <laughs> Let's add in our colorant. So the first thing that we're adding is true yellow from TKB Trading into the white container. And now we're gonna add some browns. We're gonna add dark brown oxide and just regular brown oxide into this large container and we're gonna put quite a bit more than I did last time because something else I learned from the last time I made this is that the fragrance oil also lightens the soap instead of making it darker it makes it lighter so if you're going for a true iced tea color you got to make sure you put quite a bit of brown in there alrighty so let's blend in our colorants The fragrance oil we are adding today is Boston Tea Party from Nature's Garden. Smells exactly like a glass of fresh iced tea, southern style with a little bit of lemon, hence the yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that on in. oil is fully incorporated now so I'm gonna pour this yellow into the iced tea color just like that and then I'm gonna scrape this out because here's something else I learned about the first one it kind of looked a little bit like mustard on top <laughs> okay so let's pour this into our large slab mold got it in my slab mold so I'm gonna start in one corner I'm gonna go around just like this Make sure it gets into every single little bit. There's not gonna be much of that yellow left, I can tell you that right now. I'm gonna scrapey scrapey my big containy. So off to the side here, I have a bazillion different ice cubes. This is super clear melt and pour. And I'm gonna drop these in from up kinda high. Some of them will fall in a little deeper. That was something people requested before was that we have some of them be a little more sunk into the soap. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. <laughs> hey, big strong person, you wanna tap this down on the ground for me? Sure. <laughs> Okay, first layer of ice cubes done. Let's move along to the next layer, the ones that are kinda 
sitting up near the top and we like our ice cubes yes we do we want to see lots and lots and lots of them up on there and I've got ice cubes of all different shapes and sizes because some of them have obviously melted a little bit. I can't even tell y'all how heavily requested this soap was. In the poll that I did, just a ton of people wanted it, which makes me happy because this is like one of my favorite smells of all time. I'd like to know how many times I say that per year. <laughs> Another reason for wanting to make this particular batch a little harder is because I really want these ice cubes to stick in the cold process soap. I don't want them to smear during cutting. And sticking an ice cube in every single little place that you can see can fit one is what makes these bars look really, really good. Because remember, you have to think about the individual bars and not the loaf as a whole. I'm nearing the finish line here, folks. There's not a ton of spaces that I see that can fit an ice cube in. Now we didn't add any special yellow on the top, but let me tell you what we are gonna do. We're gonna add a little bit of snowflake sparkle just to make those ice cubes look nice and slick with a very steady hand because I do not want to overdo it with this stuff. Gonna give that a nice spritz, lock it all in, yeah. Then we're gonna add some biodegradable hollow glitter on top because mole glitter equals mole better. And finally, we're gonna take a little bit of gold digger glitter. That's gonna put that golden hue on top again instead of the yellow and give our glitter lovers something to just absolutely swoon over. Awesome, and then we're gonna spritz one last time and that's it, the iced tea soap is done. Oh my goodness, yes, iced tea soap with all the glitter on top. I love it. So I'm gonna let the soap sit for 48 to 72 hours or two to three days for those of y'all who are not very math savvy, just so we can give it a little bit of extra time for the embeds to cozy up against the cold process soap and stick really well. And then we'll be back to split the slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars. After this quick commercial break, of course. It is now time to cut the iced tea with lemon soap. Now I am gonna be very careful because this soap has melt and pour embeds on it, so we have to watch it carefully, make sure they're not dragging and messing up the bars. Luckily, this cutter does such a fantastic job of slicing all embeds. So let's pull one of these out of the middle. And this is what the soap looks like on the inside. We've got those super light swirls of yellow, of course, and then look at all the little ice cubes. And there's the ones I shoved in a little bit more. Those are so cute. Okay, let's chop up the bars. Good old trusty Evangeline is back to help us today. I've lined up my soap, so I'm gonna press down gently. I'll zoom you guys in a little more so you can see. And here, we pull one out of the middle, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, I cannot tell you how good this smells. And just like I said I wanted, there's only little hints here and there, just reminiscent of a lemon. Ooh, look at this one, yas. This little embed goes all the way through. If you hold it up to the light, you can see the sunshine on the other side. Okay, so the question of the day is, can you drink iced tea in the winter or is that exclusively a summer beverage? You can let me know by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. This soap is gonna be available to purchase on January 8th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time in the new year. Who's excited about 2019? 2018 was a little rough. Exciting, full of fantasticalness, but a little difficult. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is going out sledding if you actually have snow near you, or going swimming if you live in a part of the world that it's still warm and balmy. Either way, do something that makes you happy. I'll see you tomorrow for the next day of Soapmas. Bye for now. Meow.